hello my dear students today we are starting with semester 3 in the last semester we have studied appreciating poetry in the third semester you are going to study appreciating prose appreciating prose it introduces prose as a literary genre or prose as a literary classification a category and it also helps the students uh, or to equip the students with critical skill and analytical skill and you are going to see prose from uh, various contexts from uh, you're going to analyze prose from various perspectives you're going to see various cultures through the prose and uh, you're, you'll also study about different types of prose writing you will be studying with uh, you'll be studying prose from various writers across the globe from british you have francis bacon charles lamb and from africa you have chinua achebe and from europe you have um, albert camus and from indian roots you have arunthadi roy uh, usha ishudasan and so on you will be also introduced um, various writings uh, from speeches also speeches and also essays and those essays would be dealing with various uh, aspects like philosophical issues personal issues political issues and so on so let's get into the text so today i'll be dealing with essay you have it on page number 28 essays various types of essays and uh, you'll be dealing with uh, memoir and uh, also diary and so on so let's get started before that please buy the book appreciating prose it is available in the book shops please buy the book and we are going to learn now the appreciating prose we are going to start appreciating prose an essay is a piece of writing that gives the author's own argument. Author would be speaking about his arguments or the author would be presenting his or her claims about a particular topic. In our examinations, you are asked, we are asked to write essays. What do we do then? We state our claims. We justify a point. We give our arguments or disagreements about agreements or disagreements about a topic. Same thing. The author convinces the reader of something, or the author would be simply informing the reader about a particular topic. Either the author would be informing the author about uh, informing the readers about a particular topic, or the author would be uh, presenting his or her agreements or disagreements about a particular topic. The word essay is an alteration of the word essay which comes from the old French word essayer which means to try or to attempt. The word essay e -S -S -A -Y, is a modification of the word essay a -S -S -A -Y. And it comes from the old French word essayer. What does it mean? It means to try or to attend. In English, essay first meant a trial or an attempt. In English, essay first meant a trial or an attempt. It was the French writer Montaigne popularized essay as a literary genre and he popularized it in the 16th century. He described his work as essays, E-S-S-A-I-S, -S -S, 
he described his work as essays. He used the term essays to characterize as attempts to put his thoughts into writing. What did he do? He put his thoughts into writing. He just presented his thoughts through writing. Which means a thinking on paper. And the work Essays of Montaigne contained in three books. And it had 107 chapters of various length. Montaigne. The French writer Montaigne. Michael D. Montaigne, the French writer, lived from 1533 to 1592, is also known as the Lord of Lord of Montaigne, and is one of the most significant philosophers of the French Renaissance, and he is also known for popularizing the essay as a literary genre. So, what is an essay? A piece of writing gives the author's own argument. And essays are also traditionally classified as formal and informal. The concept of an essay has been extended to other media beyond writing. Earlier we got only uh, the writings in a piece of paper. Right? And now the concept of the essay has been extended to other medias also. We have film essays, we have video essays, we have photographic essays. And what do you mean by film essays? Film essays is actually like a documentary, a documentary cinema. Film essay is a movie. And it incorporates documentary filmmaking styles. And what does it do? Film essay. It incorporates documentary filmmaking styles. A documentary film or a documentary. It would be definitely non-fictional. And what, do, what does it do? It documents reality for the purpose of instruction or education or to maintain historical record. So, film essay is a kind of documentary cinema or it's a kind of movie incorporates documentary filmmaking styles and it focuses more on the evolution of a theme or evolution of an idea. And that, next we have photographic essays. Photographic essays means a set of pictures covers a topic and it would be linked with set of pictures or photographs and would have accompanying text or accompanying captions. You can see the picture of photographic essay here. And now we are going to, we have another kind of essay that is video essay. It also analyzes, video essay is a video it analyzes a topic or it analyzes a specific theme or a person. It is rather a new form, right? Video essays. It's a kind of video analyzes a specific topic or person like that. So we have uh, looked into three forms of essays, film essays, video essays and photographic essays. And now we are coming into the next paragraph. The essays are divided into two, formal essays and informal essays. From the name itself, we know that what is a formal essay and what is informal essay. Formal essays are impersonal essays. Impersonal essays, it will be dealing with the general topics, general subjects. And uh, it would be of a serious uh, matter a serious type and the writers usually avoid slangs when they write formal essays 
it would be from an objective uh, point of view and also the writer will use formal vocabulary and they use correct grammar and uh, there would be only the silent presence of the author and it is also noted for the serious purpose the dignity of the style and the uh, the um, ideas are presented in a in an ordered form or the logical organization of the ideas these can be seen as the features of formal essays and what do you mean by informal essays informal essays just the opposite of this we can feel the author's personality through the essay the subjectivity of the author is evident it would be of personal type personal essays and uh, we can see the personal elements of the author the self revelation the author would be revealing himself through the essay and the experiences of the author would be shared through the essay and the a humorous style uh, can be seen and the graceful style of the author and it would be written in an unconventional way we will be studying about charles lamb and uh, we'll also feel connected to the essay it is impersonal or uh, uh, it is personal it is personal i'm sorry it is personal essay informal essay personal essay and now we will move into the types of formal essays there are various types of formal essays periodical essays and critical essays are formal essays a periodical essay is an essay published in a magazine or a journal what do you mean by periodical a magazine or journal that is published at regular intervals an essay published in a magazine or a journal is called a periodical essay 18th century is also known as age of periodicals there are a lot of periodicals at that time tatler spectator gentleman's magazine bentley's miscellany or blackwood's magazine edinburgh review quarterly review the examiner these are the famous periodicals at that time and the writers of the periodical essays wrote uh, satirical observations they made satirical observations of the contemporary scenario and also their essays dealt with uh, moral instructions judgment of good taste and they also dealt with fashion art uh, social events contemporary history and also talked about the ideals uh, of gentlemen or the virtues uh, of women they also dealt with these things and the famous writers periodical essay writers of that time were richard steel uh, joseph edison samuel johnson oliver goldsmith and edison and steel associated with tatler and spectator aroused interest in readers and their work their periodicals edison and steel's periodicals tatler and spectator are the models for periodical writing throughout the 18th century and now a critical essay critical essay is a form of academic writing formal essay academic writing serious matters academic writing dealing with academics it analyzes a text it analyzes the significance of a text it evaluates the meaning of a text it interprets a text interprets a topic interprets um, and uh, interprets uh, the meaning of a text um, interprets uh, evaluates the meaning of a text and the author makes claim about how ideas are presented in the text text means you know the piece of writing that is the text in critical essays author makes claim that means author may be agreeing with the text with a particular um, piece of writing or author would be disagreeing with a particular piece of writing he supports the claim with evidence from 
various sources. He supports his argument from uh, primary sources or secondary sources. Primary source means the main text. So critical essay is a formal essay, academic writing which will interpret the meaning of a text, which will evaluate the meaning of a text, which will which analyzes a text and will also talk about the significance of a particular text. And critical essay also author makes his, his own claims, his own justifications or his own reasons for agreeing with a particular topic or um, disagreeing with a particular topic and so on critically analyzing a text so two types of formal essays we have learned one is periodical essay and another one is critical essay and now we are moving into personal essay personal essay is a short work of autobiographical non-fiction autobiographical elements would be there personal elements would be there it would be from the subjective point of view we can see the experiences of the author maybe uh, emotions would be depicted through the in the writing charles lamb's essay dream children are very and we and as uh, various other essays which he had written along with uh, his sister is an example of personal essay, informal essay. And uh, an apology for idlers by R. L. Stevens, Stevenson is an example of a personal essay. R. L. Stevenson is a Scottish novelist, essayist who is known for his famous works like Treasure Island, Kidnapped. And uh, Apology for Idlers is a thought-provoking thought essay. It's full of humor, wit and irony. And um, you can see that um, he opposes, he gives certain ideas uh, that stands against the modern ideas uh, such as the intellectually uh, reading books or education in schools and colleges. And he also favors idols, idol, idlers in his essay. And he says that uh, idler can give more pleasure than a busy man because uh, the mind of the busy man would be always full of uh, plans and the works to be done. And whereas the idler would be more happy always and he will also make others happy through the kind of his works like that. So today we have dealt with essay, uh, informal essay, informal, informal essay and uh, we have dealt with uh, periodical essay, uh, critical essay and we have dealt with uh, um, film essay, photographic essay and all. And uh, that's it for today's introductory class and uh, tomorrow we will, in the next class we will cover with uh, the life writing, the topic. So all of you uh, be safe at your homes, study well and we will meet in the next class. Happy learning.